It doesn't. It means you can make money in it. Not no. as much as you could if you were in your prime. Well, what, is, what do you want her to do? Go work at McDonald's? Yes. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You know, normally we go into the wrestling reviews and all that stuff, but I think we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about the big stuff that happened this week. Hulk Hogan just got married for the third time. Oh, did he? Yeah. That's the big news. Sky Daly, a yoga instructor. Congratulations, Hulk Hogan. It's his third marriage. This, hopefully this one sticks. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all the news that happened this week. So we can go ahead and... <laughs> Okay. What you're laughing. Oh, right, right. The uh, <clears throat> budget cuts. Were, were there any surprises, do you think? I think there was two that I was surprised by. Why don't you paint the picture for us? Yeah, let's see here. WWE. Yeah, as we all know, they just merged, and now they're a new company called TKO. They merged and with Endeavor. Endeavor, there you go. And as part of that, there were budget cuts. We got a lot of people who were a part of the budget cuts, Mostly, they were talents that weren't used on TV too much. There's a lot of folks that they left. I'm not surprised that they're still around. Karen Cross. Oh, yeah. People were celebrating on Twitter. Oh, looks like Karen Cross is going to make the budget cut. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about the names that did get cut. Yep. In the beginning of the day, they cut, and this happened on Thursday. The beginning of the day, they cut the main roster talents, and then by the end of the day, they did the NXT talents, and then those were trickling in through the weekend. Budget cuts. We have Emma. She just got brought back. She hasn't really done anything on TV. Goodbye. Actually, Thanks for coming. The the last we saw is that she was pushing Riddick uh, Moss into a, a heel spot because he was always losing. And she was like, you can do it. You just you just need to stop being Mr. Nice Guy. And she'd kiss him on the cheek. Yeah. And they never did anything with him. He lost and to that was months ago. Yeah, it was months ago. So, yeah, she was uh, of the first names now that I saw. She was the first name that I saw. It was a little bit sad on that one. Well, uh, I wouldn't say sad. It, it, it was something on that one. So she tweets out because WWE, they just announced that they're doing an Elimination Chamber in Australia. Yeah. Oh. So she tweets out, because that's her homeland, she tweets out, oh, it'll be, it's going to be a dream to get to go home here. And then an hour later, she's like, never mind, I'm fired. <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. Yeah, it's not funny, but it's funny. at the same time, it's like the delivery of it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and then, yeah, she was the first one that... Like, that's the first one I saw, and it was like, uh-oh, here we go. Right. And I will say, get, getting fired, there's other options, so there is that. So, like, I could see her going to Impact. Going, She was okay. in Impact. I see her going back to Impact. I mean, if Eric Young can come back from the dead, then she sure as hell yeah, can go to Impact. <laughs> I wonder how they explain that one. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I didn't even bother to follow up with that to be honest with you yeah i could see her going to impact riddick moss her uh fiance he'll probably have to go to impact too because he's going with her i was gonna say he'd be a great addition to impact yeah get to hone his craft i don't seem to care about anything so he can he can practice maybe he can get better and come back or he can be big in tna or yeah i mean he had the look he just needs like a character so maybe know. he thought, can develop that in Impact. I thought he was kind of vanilla. I know. That's what I'm saying. He didn't have a character. Well, you, you said he had the look. I just he is Jack to the to the gills. Everybody's Jack to the gills. Mm. You just put about him everybody. against Ricochet, looks wise, looks test him against Ricochet. Riddick Moss and Ricochet. Oh, Rick! I forgot about Ricochet's abs. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ross and Reed. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You well, put him I mean, and Ross and Reed next to each other. But, you know, Ross and Reed is big. Yeah, he is big. I don't know. I wasn't too surprised. Yeah. I forgot about them, to be honest with you. Well, we would be able to see where it's going because, okay, there's two names, but they haven't been on TV in months. Uh, the next name is Aaliyah. I don't um, even know who that is. She was Raquel Rodriguez's partner. She got injured. Hasn't been back on TV since. I thought she was still injured, and that's why she wasn't on TV, but apparently she wasn't. I think she makes a killing in OnlyFans. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't think wrestling is the thing for her. Gotcha. 
her heart was content on getting better. It just wasn't happening. They called her up way too early. She was in like NXT for, I don't know, maybe like a year. She was in NXT, but she never like really was like a, a mainstay on NXT. She would just like make one off matches. And then up oh, here she is. So she's on the main roster now. So she so wasn't she anything in to... NXT and then she got called up. Yeah. I don't think she ever got to like actually develop in NXT and then they called her up and then. Yeah, she's so. she's not even pretty enough for that type of a uh, treatment. She's she, I mean, she's face. not bad looking. Don't get me wrong. If I woke up next to her, I wouldn't be angry about it. But she's not. I mean, I can think of quite a few girls that that deserve a, that type of treatment ahead of her. Oh, well, she's gone. She's gone. But uh, yeah, I think OnlyFans would be her big top draw. That's sad. Now, Elias got released actually last week. It just didn't make the rounds on our show. <laughs> just totally forgot to mention it but yes elias we can just go ahead and add him now i don't even know where he goes maybe he can also go to like impact or maybe like mlw nwa nwa might be good there i can see him going to AEW. they like that stupid shit i can't why not he's not the best at the wrestling part of it john moxley isn't he's not everybody's cup of tea but he does okay for himself he's a brawler so can't Elias? I mean, we don't know what Elias is other than a singing whatever the fuck he is. I don't know. He's boring. <laughs> I don't know. I think he could do the the fucking guitar shtick in AEW and they'd eat that shit up. That's just my opinion. Well, yeah, probably. Next name, Rick Boogs. Also along the lines of Elias. This was a little bit of a surprise to me just because, again, I, I thought he was <laughs> just recovering from an injury. He was on TV yeah, he was doing that thing with Elias where they were like, I'll teach you, kid. And then he's, yeah. So then they were a tag team for a day. And then that's the last we saw of him. Yeah. So I, I'm throwing a lot of people on Impact, but I would say he can go to Impact. He can go to AEW too. They could be a tag team. I do think they should be a tag team. Like wherever they go, they should be a tag team. Yeah. They can be like a modern take on the Rockers or the, the Midnight Express. Mm -hmm. There's a name, Midnight Express. The next name we got on the list, Top Dollar, Flop Dollar. I wouldn't, <laughs> I don't think he'll be going anywhere. <laughs> you know, I was thinking that if AEW would sign Big Cass, why wouldn't they sign t Top Dollar? Because he can't wrestle. Neither can Big Cass. He can. No, he can't. He, he, first of all, he's a big man, so it's easier to wrestle a big man style. You just throw big boots and snake so eyes is top and dollar. leg drops. Top Dollar's bigger than him, isn't he? In weight. Not in top height. Uh, I think they're close. Seven foot tall, and you can't teach that. That's what he's billed as. Okay, maybe you can bring him to AEW and be like a mouthpiece for someone because he he is good on the stick. He just can't do the wrestling part. So like, if he's a manager or if he's talking for someone, he can get them heat. Him and Keith Lee could tag team. No, I don't think he should be wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the wrestling thing is gonna be gonna be his thing. Yeah, Keith Lee does all the wrestling, and then Top Dollar comes in and does all the power moves and, and comes in for the save and shit. I don't know. We're going to differ on that. No, fair enough. Next names. Again, these are all still, you say, main roster cuts. We got Mansoir and Masse, also known as Mason Mansoor. Cut, the cut. Maximum male models is no more. <laughs> <laughs> WWE took their girl and then said bye-bye. Yes. Well done. And... Now, like Mens Mensor, he he's got the wrestling talent. I could see him going. I don't know Impact because there's another guy that's going to go to AEW from this list. But Impact, I could see him going there. Masse, Mace. more than one person can go to a AEW. I know. I mean, AEW has their own roster problems. They shouldn't be bringing in too many people. It doesn't matter. He'll bring in stupid people just for the sake of having them or giving them a chance. Well, we'll see. Except for Emma. <laughs> she had her chance. Yeah, you will definitely see. Since they released, they do have a 90 day non compete, so they're not going to show up anywhere until like the first of the year. Yeah, we got, and then Mace, I don't know. I think he's more, he was better off when he was doing announcing than <laughs> wrestling. But so I'm not going to even say where he would go, wherever he I, goes. He's, he should be an announcer. I'll have to take your word for it because I don't, I literally don't remember ever seeing them wrestle or anything yeah they were jobbers now speaking of uh mansoor apparently he was on his twitch stream he was on a twitch stream 
and there were people watching it while you're watching Mansoor's Twitch is beyond me. But <laughs> you have people watching it. Apparently during the Twitch, he talked about his release and he said that he was never on NXT. I think he did like one match on NXT, but he wasn't like full time on NXT. Mm -hmm. And the reason was is because the Saudi contract stated that he couldn't lose. <laughs> Why? Because they had to protect their investment. And Mansoor? Yeah. Is, is he was, Saudi? Yes. Oh. There was this whole thing. He had he was undefeated on those Saudi shows. Oh. <laughs> like he won the he won like the great uh, the greatest Royal Rumble that he was in. Mm -hmm. um, he won a one on one match with Ali. There was an I think he beat Cesaro. Like he he was like oh who's Mansoor beating this year? Because and then yeah he just confirmed that it was in his contract that he couldn't <laughs> lose. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing he didn't like get a title match or something. Well, he wouldn't do that. If the Saudi wanted it, oh, well, let's put the Intercontinental title on at that mm. time. Next up, we got a big name. I was both surprised and not surprised by this, but Dana Brooke. Okay. I was surprised that it actually happened, <laughs> but I wasn't surprised that it happened. She had made it 10 years in the game, finally has been cut. Now, that's an impact person right there. Probably. Or maybe she just doesn't wrestle anymore. I don't know. I would say that's probably the safer bet she could do probably like tv stuff maybe no because she sucks <laughs> she sucks at everything so she got to do only fans yeah i guess she's got a fan club whatever there's all those <laughs> i saw this thing on twitter it's like oh we had a good run we had a good run and it's like our fan twitter account thing and it said like it's over guys we had a good run that's what the the fan twitter said i don't know there was a time maybe only fan before she got surgically enhanced before she took advice from charlotte some people are into that though well some people are also into watching fat people eat okay that don't mean nothing it does mean something it doesn't it means you can make money in it not oh. as much as you could if you were in your prime well what, is, what do you want her to do go work at mcdonald's yes okay <laughs> there you go next up we got shelton benjamin the gold standard ain't no stopping me now. Or to this point, that's easily the biggest name. Tenured career has Shelton Benjamin. He was part of the Hurt Business. He was, you know, WWE Intercontinental Champion many times over. He has that clip that will last forever of him getting super kicked from the springboard. And he was the gold standard, so he dyed his hair gold. Ain't no stopping me now. He was always one of my favorites. He was all right. Like, I always thought he was kind of boring. It was, uh, I liked watching him in the ring, but when he talked, he was like, oh, I did it for The Rock. Oh, well, I liked when he was part of the the greatest tag team ever with uh, Charlie Haas. Yeah. And they were like Kurt Angle clones. They were brought in to take down Chris Benoit. It's like the greatest tag team ever. And then they had their title run. So Shelton Benjamin, he is up there in age. I think he's like almost 50 or so. Probably he'll be like a coach somewhere. Whoever's rolling around with the talent, getting them in ring ready. That's what he, I would see him doing. And then Mustafa Ali, who, ironically enough, was in the middle of a program with Dominic, like very much on TV. He just had a, a little segment where he's like campaigning for North American champion. Oh, and by the way, he was advertised as having a match against Dominic at No Mercy for the title. And then they said, never mind, you're out. Didn't he ask to be released? Not this time. He he used to try really hard to get released. Maybe this was a one of those, yeah, I'll take it type of deals. It could be. Uh, the story that's now arisen is that he was making main roster money, and they didn't see him going back to the main roster. So essentially he was going to be stuck in NXT forever, okay. making main roster money. So they cut him for that reason. Now, he, I could see it easily fitting in AEW because yeah. you know they like their high flying flip floppers and he fits the mold there. Next up, we got Dolph Ziggler. And that was the biggest name. That was the one that surprised me just because he's just been there for 15 years or so. Yeah, he's been there a while. Everybody was surprised that that name was there. I was surprised. I think his contract was coming up, wasn't it? Maybe. I know he just. 
re-signed a contract okay. recently. But again, he was in a point where he wasn't really being used on TV. And it's kind of a shame. He's one of those along the lines of Daniel Bryan. Like, uh, if they weren't so fucking hell-bent on pushing Cena, what if? Yeah, and he, and he got those two title stints. Intercontinental Champion a handful of times. Tag Team Champion. He's won just about every title there. United great, States Champion. He was a great villain. Yeah, great on the mic. He dyed his hair brown for like a week and then realized it was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, a good one. I could see him going to AEW too. Yeah, I could see him going to AEW. Especially since his brother's there. Oh, for sure. Uh, but there are talks. Uh, now, this is the community talking about this. I want to see what you think about it. See a Hall of Famer. Ziggler? Yes. I mean, Snooki's in the Hall of Fame. Is she? Okay, yeah. so he's a Hall of I Famer. I'm pretty sure she is. I had this, and I was going to write it down as a topic to talk about, and then I did it. But this whole week, I was like, you know, everybody's slurping on Dolph Ziggler. Oh, he's a Hall of Famer. Yada, yada. But no one's making a big stink about Shelton Benjamin. If I compared their two careers, I would say Shelton Benjamin's career is better than Dolph Ziggler's. His career was better? I said I backed off of it now. But at the time, hot take, I was saying yes. I would. Shelton Benjamin's career was better than Dolph Ziggler's. I guess but, that would depend on perspective. Dolph Ziggler has only been in WWE. So he only knows WWE. Uh, Shelton Benjamin has been in multiple promotions. I'm sure he's been kind of a trainer. For a lot of the young talent, him and Charlie Haas were a tag team and I think MLW or Ring of Honor, one of the two. Yeah, so. So I think experience wise, probably well, Shelton I mean, Benjamin. I, I backed off of it. I thought about it more and I was like, okay, never mind. That's just me being a hot take here. Well, I mean, if you want to talk about like, you know, the number one show, fine. It'd be like, you know, the Mission Impossible movies, how they're always number one in the box office, despite the fact that some of them aren't that great. But then, like, you'll have a, an independent movie that's pretty good, but yeah. it, gets, it gets no uh, recognition or, or any uh, praise or, or any press. That's kind of Shelton Benjamin. He's the indie guy that is underappreciated. And if he was given more of a spotlight, I'm, I'm sure he'd be better than Ziggler. At least in the ring. Definitely in the ring. All Ziggler knows how to do is squirm around like a fish. Yeah, they were both selling. But there was a time that Shelton Benjamin should have been pushed to, or at least main event level i agree i wouldn't say he's i don't know if he could have been a champion but at least main event level i think he was a good tag team specialist there's no shame in that unfortunately wwe has kind of conditioned us to hate tag team wrestling because vince mcmahon hates tag team wrestling but shame i know but i mean there's no shame in being like a tag team guy not everybody can be like the top of the top of the top so it's it's okay to have you know expertise in other areas Especially when your generation has Cena. Actually, he had Stone Cold. Stone Cold, then Cena. Yeah. So there's no fucking way he was going to be top. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was a that was just a hot take that I was thinking, and then I backed off. I don't think you're wrong. Or at least if you're wrong, quote unquote, I don't think you're you know, completely off base. So it wasn't crazy in thinking he's, he's not getting enough respect. That's kind of how you look at it, though. If you only know WWE then Dolph Ziggler is the one that's been on TV. So I can kind of see from that perspective, of course, Dolph Ziggler has had the better career. But if you want to talk about totality, I got to give the edge to Shelton. Well, if, if I'm being honest, I know nothing about his independence and anything outside of WWE. So I just know he wrestled outside of WWE, which I'm pretty sure Dolph Ziggler's only wrestled in WWE. Yeah. Seems times of the, of, will be changing on that. So we've rattled off the NXT names here. We got Quincy Elliott. Oh, so sad. Uh, yeah. Bryson Montana. Dalbacato. No. Shanky. Shanky, who was just in the Super Show. Ulyssa Leon. And there was another one that I had missed on the list here. We got, oh, Ika Minjiro, who had a small stint of TV time. His little thing was jacket time, and he would wrestle with a sports coat so that could tell you where that was <laughs> <laughs> all right it may be a surprise to you there just all based off that information and then we got the latest name is melanie Briz 
B R Z E Z I N S K I. Don't know who that is. Never That's made it. it to TV, but that is the latest name there. Well, they will be missed. They were all part of the NIL program for the most part. So it's like the athletes that they picked from other college things. So oh. maybe they go back to do that or something. I don't know. Okay. And then the final name, because he was the the latest to be named and we left him to last on purpose matthew a riddle and now he got fired right at like an hour before smackdown okay so the the notes on him is he was too much of a a risk for the company so they had to let him go well i mean he's he's had i think he's had accusations thrown his way uh recently he had that issue with the airport yeah he kind of seems like a guy that has his head up his ass he, he's he's too much into partying right like he's he not doesn't take shit stars. seriously yeah there was a thing that circled around apparently he told this was back when he was in ufc dana white was talking about how he's like a, a legal marijuana user mm-hmm. like he, he carries some kind of card that says he can use it no matter what state he's in or whatever and uh joe rogan said that he told riddle matt riddle told him that the reason he smokes weed all the time is so he doesn't beat his kids what i don't know <laughs> okay this was the story that was circling around you know we we live in a soundbite world so that was just like a right. little part of it yeah i'd have to hear the context of that but that's <laughs> shit that's cold-blooded <laughs> but yes matt riddle three strikes you're out buddy but that was all of the firings as of now if there's more we will update you next week and I think the dust has settled for this all for now. Maybe at the beginning of the year there might be more. But for now, we, we the dust has settled on the firings. 